Hi, I'm Vanessa, a cleric with the Ancient Hearth Sanctuary. We are a part of the Sanctuary of Pagan Paths of BC, Canada. My pronouns are she, her. Hail and welcome to our Lunasa celebration. On behalf of the Ancient Hearth Sanctuary, I would like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional and unceded uh, territory of the Coast Salish peoples. And I would like to thank the Shunemu and the Mid-Island Métis Nation on whose traditional lands we are able to continue serving the members of Ancient Hearth Sanctuary. Find a comfortable position, either sitting or standing, and close your eyes. Take several slow, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Visualize strong tree roots growing up from the dark, rich earth. The roots climb and wrap themselves around your legs, reaching your knees. Feel the grounding nature of the roots, the connection to Mother Earth, and the land spirits. Focus once again on your breathing. Now visualize a beam of soft white light radiating from the top of your head up to the heavens. Feel this soft, warm light envelop you with a feeling of peace and deep knowledge. This is your connection to the gods, goddesses, and ancestors. The grounding of the roots and the knowledge of the light combine at your center, anchoring you to the earth while opening yourself up to the energies and messages offered by the spirits attending this celebration. When you're ready, take one final deep breath, open your eyes, and the celebration will begin. The summer sun blazes hot, scorching the earth and burning skin. We gather now to call out to the great Dairy Queen to bring cooling ice cream blessings. Hail, Dar Hail Dairy Queen, mother of ice cream. Cool our bodies and freeze not our brains. Whole and holy unto thee. We are occupying this physical space during this particular time, but with the recreation of the sacred Sunday, we become the center of all space, no space, all time, and no time. As previous generations did before us, we honor the fire that heats the sacred chocolate sauce and opens pathways to the gods and goddesses. The bowl that is the conduit to the chaotic powers of creation and contains the blessed ingredients and the spoon whose handle beckons us to indulge and whose head carries the sacred ice cream and serves as a link connecting everything together. By the ice cream that serves as the base of the sacred sundae, The chocolate sauce that coats the ice cream with warm deliciousness. And the whipped cream that covers it all. This Sunday is made whole and holy.
Gatekeeper, banana split. You who bridges the gap between nutrition and indulgence. Open the gates between our earthly realm and the realm of deliciousness that we may receive the blessings offered to us by the spirits of dessert. We now invite the three kindred to attend our rite. Ancestors, cream, sugar, and vanilla, from you, ice cream is born. We invite you to attend our rite. Land spirits, energies of the earth, Strawberries, peanuts, bananas. You offer grounding energies and justify our indulgences with your nutritional value. We invite you to attend our right. Shining Ones, Ben and Jerry's, Dairyland, Chapman's, and all sacred names of ice cream. We invite you to attend our right. Blessed is she, mother of ice cream, dairy queen. You bless us with your bounty of treats, from your flowing chocolate sundaes to your cooling blizzards and decadent brownie desserts. We honor and praise you as we indulge in your many gifts. O oh, kindreds, accept our sacrifice. All powers who have joined us this day, I ask now, has what we have done been acceptable? The Ten of Pentacles. This tells me that the offerings have been acceptable. As a gift calls for a gift, I now ask, what blessings do you offer in return? the Five of Wands. This tells me that the spirits who attended this rite are offering us the gift of perseverance um, in these times. That definitely makes sense. Makes sense. Things are getting better, but we still do need to uh, strive to keep moving forward. As we go forth from this rite, I ask now, what further need do you have of us? The 
This is interesting. Uh, the Nine of Swords is what the uh, spirits have asked us to continue doing. Um, this, this connects well with the, the Five of Wands of the, the Perseverance. Um, I feel like what they're, what they're asking us to do is, normally this can be a, a negative card, but in this connotation as it's a positive, I feel that the spirits are asking us to do something that scares us. To step out of our comfort zone each day. Um, uh, let you know a little secret. For me, doing these videos can be a bit stressful. Um, I, I do much better in a live group with everyone around. So I would say, today do something that makes you nervous. These are indeed powerful omens. Take a moment to reflect upon them. Consider first how these blessings affect you, how you can find their expression in your life. Next, consider how these blessings relate to us all, how the community as a whole, and our sanctuary in particular, might be affected by the Shining One's blessings. Now in your mind's eye, see the blessings manifest. A mist around us, a shining ray from the heavens, a deep welling from the bosom of the earth. See the blessings in your own way, and know the kindreds pour them out for you. We, we gladly offer sacrifice. We give our gifts out of love and devotion, for we are truly blessed. Through our worship, we receive the blessings of the powers. They offer guidance to those who would hear. The powers work to help us. When we listen to what the powers have to say, our world becomes richer and more fulfilled. We drink the waters of life and are blessed. The Great Ones have blessed us. With joy in our hearts, let us carry the magic from our sacred sanctuary into our lives and our work. Each time we offer to the powers, they become stronger and more aware of our needs and our worship. It is the hour of recall. As the radiance of this celebration comes to an end, let it remain as a light in your hearts. May your memories hold what the eye and ear have gained. Let us now give thanks to the Dairy Queen and to the many beings who have attended this rite. Dairy Queen, I thank you for being with us here this day and for all the blessings you have bestowed. Shining Ones, Ben and Jerry's, Dairyland, Chapman's, Briars, and all sacred names of ice cream, we thank you for your presence at this rite. Land Spirits, Energies of the Earth, strawberries, peanuts, bananas. You offer grounding energies and justify our indulgence with your nutritional value. We thank you for your presence at this rite. Ancestors, cream, sugar, and vanilla. From you, ice cream is born. We thank you for your presence at this rite. Great, great gatekeeper, banana split. Let the gates be closed. Dairy Queen, from whom, from whom all ice cream is born and to whom we return to again and again, we thank you for your many delicious blessings. May your booth ever hold strong. May your ice cream ever flow soft and cool. Hail Dairy Queen. Uh, before I close the rite, I just want to let you know what to do with the, the offerings. The, um, the offering bowls to the three kindred with the strawberries and the cream and the ice cream. That uh, gets deposited however you would normally um, 
take care of offerings. I'm going to go bury mine outside. You can offer it to running water. You can leave it onto your altar. Basically, whatever you would normally do. Uh, the sacred... Sorry, I'm drawing a blank here for a second. So these are the offerings of the kindred, and they get disposed of. The sacred Sunday can uh, be eaten if you wish, or you can dispose of it with the other offerings, whatever you're more comfortable with. So now we will close the rites. Find a comfortable position, either sitting or standing, and close your eyes. Take several slow, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Visualize the tree roots unwrapping themselves from your legs and retreating back into the earth, leaving behind whatever grounding you may need. Now visualize the light retreating from the top of your head back up into the heavens, leaving behind any messages you received during the rite. When you're ready, take one final deep breath and open your eyes. The rite is ended. Go in peace. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, mix of Druidry and Kitchen Witch, and we look forward to uh, having you at our next celebration.